What is happening everybody? It is Draco in here back at it again with another late night predictions video because I don't want to wait till tomorrow. And uh I'm honestly not that tired, so might as well get it out of the way. So this week was definitely a crazy week. I mean, it started off with us winning in our only prime prime time game of the year, so that's good. Uh, and then there was multiple upsets, like the the Bills lost to the Vikings in overtime, the Cowboys lost to the Packers in overtime, and then just recently, the Eagles got their first loss of the season against the Washington Commanders. I don't know what it is about the Commanders and going against undefeated teams, but it just feels like two, I feel like two, it, I think it's been two out of the last three years that the last undefeated team in the league got their first L against the Commanders. So yeah, I guess the Commanders are just, just insane against undefeated teams. Let's see if the next if next year's last undefeated team survives against the Commanders. But yeah, anyway, let's get on to the purpose of this video, the predictions for week 11. So here we are. We start out the game in a couple days. We start out the week in a couple days with the Titans going into Lambeau to play the Packers on Thursday night. Uh, both these teams are coming off a win. But, but Green Bay, they got their win in overtime. Meanwhile, the Titans absolutely destroyed the other team. Yeah, sure, they were playing the Denver Broncos, but that still doesn't mean that Derrick Henry isn't an absolute beast. So, yeah, I have the Tennessee Titans winning this game and moving up to, what, 7-2, and two, I want to say? It's seven and three actually. Because they lost their first two games. Uh and the Packers fell down to four and six, I think. It's either four and six or four and seven. Next up we have the Eagles taking on the Colts. Uh I'm gonna go for the Eagles in this one. I almost picked the Colts right there, to be honest. Like just cause I just because of the performance that I just saw the Eagles give. But Jeff Saturday is only in his second week as a head coach. So Yeah, yeah, sure, he won his first week as a head coach, but that was against the Raiders. So, yeah, that's not really saying too much. Next up, we got the Panthers taking on the Ravens. I have Baltimore winning this game because, honestly, they're coming off their bye. They're at home. And their defense is 100% going to be able to get through Carolina's leaky-ass O-line. Next up, we have the Browns taking on the Bills. The Bills are on a bit of a slow streak right now, but I think that ends with them beating the Cleveland Browns. I mean, they're also playing at home, too, and they're not playing the Vikings, who look like probably the best team in the league right now. So, yeah. They should be able to win pretty easily. Next up, we got the Lions taking on the Giants. Uh, the Giants, I feel like this is their 18th home game of the year. And they're playing Detroit, who's on a bit of a hot streak, but they did almost lose to the Bears. They almost, they were able to get a fourth quarter comeback and take home the win. But actually, you know what? I am going for the upset here. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna pick the Lions to get the victory over the Giants, getting their third straight win over the Giants this time. So the Giants get their third loss of the year. They fall down to 7 and 3. The Lions move up to 4 and 
six, I believe. Yeah. Next up, we have the Jets taking on the Patriots. Now, this could be a hard game to deal with, but I'm going to go with the Patriots. They're playing at home, and usually young quarterbacks like Zach Wilson don't tend to do very well when they go against the Patriots at home. Next up, we have the Rams taking on the Saints. I'm going to go with the Saints for this game. Cooper Cup's going to be out for a while, and I feel like that's the only good player on their team right now. I honestly have not heard, like, anything about Aaron Donald all year. I don't know what's going on over there. But it's just, like, it, the Rams, I think I think their season's pretty much over. They could honestly finish last in the NFC West. Next up, we have the Bears taking on the Falcons. And for this game, I believe it will be a pretty close game. I think that Justin Fields' offense, or Justin Fields pretty much by himself, because the rest of the offense is pretty much non-existent, is turning elite. But the Falcons, their defense is okay. I don't know if A.J. Terrell's coming back for this game. But, you know what? I'm going to pick Atlanta for this game. I think that Chicago, he, they had the chance. They had the chance to win the last couple weeks. They should have won against the Lions, and they didn't. So, I don't think that they're going to win against the Falcons here. Next up, we got the Commanders versus the Texans. This one's easy. Washington wins this game probably by a lot. Honestly, I think the Texans, they might not win a game for the rest of the year. They just look awful right now. Yeah, sure, they did come back sort of at the end against the Giants, but they're, they're still the Texans, and the Commanders just put up their best performance of the year. So I believe that they're going to be able to keep that performance going by beating the worst team in the league. Next up, we got the Raiders taking on the Broncos. Uh, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I've picked the Raiders so much, and they haven't done anything. They've gotten my prediction wrong so many times. But also, the Broncos look like shit. So I don't know who to pick. Uh, you know what? I said this last week, but I'm going to not learn my lesson. I'm going to give Vegas the win. I'm going to give them a, a mulligan on that one. They beat Denver earlier in the season, and that was when they had Bradley Chubb. So, this time, they should be able to win easier than they did last time. Right, Vegas? All right, anyway, next up we got the Cowboys taking on the Vikings. This will be a Vikings victory. I mean, I mean the Cowboys, they're playing the Vikings on the road. They're playing the Vikings on the road, and they just lost to the Packers. Again, on the road. So, yeah, I don't see them beating the Vikings here. Next up, we got the Bengals taking on the Steelers. The Steelers beat the Bengals earlier on in the season, but this time they're not going to. The Bengals win this game. Uh, even, even though the Steelers have T.J. Watt and they're playing at home, I just feel like that wide receiver trio, it's going to be too much for them, especially since Minka Fitzpatrick is probably still going to be out. Next up, we have Sunday Night Football. It's the Chargers taking on the Chiefs. I'm not sure why the, why these this matchup was on primetime both times this year. I don't think it was originally supposed to be, but it's just it just is now. Uh, I'm going to go with the Chiefs for this one. The Chargers are honestly on a bit of a slump. Their entire defense is hurt. I just... I just don't see them beating the Chiefs, even though the Chiefs don't have Tyreek Hill anymore. But they added Kadarius Toney, and they still have Travis Kelsey. So, yeah, 
I don't think Derwin James is going to be able to stop him on their own. And finally, we have our final international game of the year. It is the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. I'm going to pick San Francisco for this game. Look, because San Francisco, the run game is insanely good. The Cardinals D-line is, is not great. I mean, it could definitely be improved. I mean, their secondary is even bigger of a problem, but... But, yeah, it's just like the entire... Just like the run game on that 49ers offense with Christian McCaffrey and Devo Samuel and Elijah Mitchell... I mean, there's just so many guys that could run the ball on that offense and still be able to get by this Cardinals defense. Also, the Cardinals missing Zach Ertz for the rest of the year is going to hurt. So, anyway, those are my official predictions for Week 11 of the NFL season. Uh, I wasn't confident in a lot of these games, to be honest. So, let's just see how this ends up working out. Oh, yeah, and there are the bye teams, by the way. The three Florida teams in Seattle. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.